Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us um, today. We are here today with Jody um, with Regent Seven Seas Cruises. Thank you, Jody, for being with us today. We have a great presentation for everyone. Um, if you if you haven't had the opportunity to sail with Regent yet, you are you are definitely missing out. So, Jody, I will turn it over to you. Okay. Well, thanks, Melissa, and. Again, I'm. My name is Jody. I've been with Regent for the last 21 years. Actually, almost 2022 coming up here in the beginning of 2022. So I, I absolutely love Regent. It's an amazing product, and I'm so excited to share with you everything Regent Seven Seas Cruises. And I know we talked about into 2022 and 2023, but we also have 2024 out there. So I'll highlight a few itineraries. There's so many, it's so hard, but we'll talk about that and the whole the Regent experience. If you aren't familiar. If you think that you can't sail on Regent, I bet you can. So I'm excited to talk to you today and, and maybe we'll figure out today where you will go next. Now I wanted to talk quickly about our health and safety. I know that that's a big elephant in the room for everyone and we have this truly amazing science-backed plan that we put together with a team of experts that we call our Sail Safe Health and Safety Program. So we will continually update and make changes to this robust science-backed plan as needed. And as of right now, a couple things just to point out is that we do have continuous shipwide disinfection and cleaning, of course. We've got this great new medical grade air filtration system that's capable of removing 99.9% .9 of airborne pathogens and a new air treatment technology called bipolar ionization. It's been adopted to continuously disinfect the air in occupied spaces. We have enhanced onboard medical teams and health services, contactless food ship shipwide. And something that I thought was is really neat is something called contact tracing. So once you when you're checking in with us, you upload your photo, and that photo is going to help us know where you have been throughout the public spaces on the ship. So if you contracted COVID or if you came in contact with someone that had COVID, then we would know who you have been around and, and so forth. So I think that that's something that's really neat moving forward. As of right now, masks are required and a 100% vaccine for guests and crew. As far as masks, you know, that, that could change. And depending on where the ship is sailing, Sometimes it won't be required. So it all just depends. Now, Regent's always been about space at sea and having that ample space and service on board our ships is nothing new. It's not a revolutionary concept, but rather a strong reminder of why personal space and dedicated one-to-one -one service and balconies and dining are more important than ever. And we do have five pillars that we stand by that we believe sets us apart from all of the rest. So immersive exploration, impeccable service, exquisite cuisine, luxurious suites, and every luxury included. Now we are all inclusive and I wanted to review what we always include upfront in our pricing. We may seem higher at first glance, but you must consider everything. So from business class air on intercontinental flights to economy air on domestic flights. So if you are flying to Europe, you will be flying in a business class seat over the water. We have free unlimited shore excursions. This isn't just one or two shore excursions that we offer you that are included and say that we include them. This is multiple tours in every port of call. We've got two or three night land programs on select voyages that are included, a one night pre-cruise hotel package and concierge suites and a higher. Free unlimited beverages that includes fine wines and premium spirits, those so specialty coffees, freshly squeezed juice at breakfast, bottled water, all included, plus an in suite mini bar that's replenished daily. So you can wake up in the middle of the night, grab a bottle of water, and not have to worry about paying for that. We also include gratuities, specialty dining, transfers with our airport package, free unlimited Wi Fi, and brand new is our free valet laundry service. So you can Send your clothes to be cleaned and you don't have to pay anything. Now, this is a comparison piece that we do that is really important. And it's very important to compare apples to apples when it's pricing out your vacations. And the reality, reality is that this type of luxury inclusiveness allows you to feel different while you're on vacation. 
There is an ease about it. It's refreshing. There's no hassle. There's not waiting for the final bill, alcohol tips. Just, you just let it be and enjoy. So in this example here, we have Regents, another luxury cruise line, and a premium cruise line. I don't think that you can see this here because of my picture in the way, but the premium cruise line is 2,915 guests. And then we do comparable suites. So these are all balconies uh, up cl as close to the same size. But remember, the, uh, the guest capacity is, is very, very different. Now with us, in this example, our fare starts at $77.99 per person. And I know that a lot of times that that's shocking and, you know, it, it's, it's a, a big number, but maybe you decide to look at the other luxury line or look at the premium. The premium starts at $1,979 per person. But again, you've got to look at from start to finish because with Regent, it's all included. You do not have to pay anything else while you are on board with us, should you choose. So you can get off of Regent the same price that you got on. With the other luxury line, their price ends up to be higher at 10,564. And with the premium cruise line, it is still less, but by not much at 7,348 per person, because you have to add on all of those things. So for 64 more dollars per day or per person with Regent, you can get a small luxury ship experience. So talk to your travel advisor at Travel Leaders and they'll be able to explain this to you very well and show you how you can sell with Regent. Now, we have a beautiful fleet of five ships that we refer to as the world's most luxurious fleet. We cater from 490 guests is our Seven Seas Navigator, up to 750 guests is our Seven Seas Explorer, Splendor, and arriving soon as our brand new Grandeur. Now, we have no lines, no waiting. We've, we are small, we are intimate. And we had a full refurbishment on all of our ships after our Seven Seas Explorer came into service in 2016. Seven Seas Explorer was branded as the most luxurious ship ever built. And then along came the Splendor in 2020, branded as luxury perfected. And then the pandemic happened. So she only had one sailing and that was it. So she is currently sailing again and having her inaugural season. And then we've got Seven Seas Grandeur coming, a heritage of perfection. These are all suite, all balcony, 750 guests. Seven Seas Mariner and Voyager are all suite, all balcony at 700 guests. Our average crew to guest ratio is one to 1 1.4. And that is, it's a fact that it sets us apart from many other cruise lines out there. The Seven Seas Grandeur, as I had mentioned, our brand new ship, is inspired by the past and she's stunningly reimagined for the future. So she debuts with her inaugural voyage from Barcelona to Miami on November 25th, 2023. Her voyages are open for sale and go into early 2024. And as you see, the ship crew to guest ratio 1 to 1.38. And whenever we bring on a new ship, we listen to what our guests want. We refine the little details. We, we take into effect all of that. So uh, compared to the Explorer and the Splendor, I cannot imagine what this ship will look like, but everything is absolutely beautiful and we cannot wait to add her to our fleet. Now, all cruise lines are different and I wanted to show you an example of Regent versus another premium cruise line here. So this is Regent 70 Splendor at 750 guests. We have a, another a premium cruise line here at 3,046 guests. Now look at the guest capacity between the Splendor, or I'm sorry, that is the guest capacity. Look at the space per person here, space to guest ratio. And also if you're more of a, a visual person, each one of these little people in both examples is 100 guests. So look at all of that room that you have on board Regent compared to this other, this premium cruise line. Now, the Regent Unrivaled experience starts even before you step aboard a perfectly sized ship. With the comfort of this business class seat on your intercontinental flights. And I think that this picture pretty much sums it up right here. A truly enjoyable and uncrowded embarkation process. This is our Seven Seas Voyager at 700 guests. 
not even our smallest ship, not even our largest, but look at that. So if you're looking for less crowds, no lines, ease of vacation, it's time to look at region. Now you will quickly discover that these warm smiles and the greetings of our staff and crew extend well beyond this chilled glass of champagne that greets you and welcomes you on board. So as you set out on your voyage, our aim is to ensure that you feel free to fully embrace and enjoy every aspect of your time with us. Our guests believe that we have the perfect size ships. They are large enough to have an array of accommodations and public spaces, yet never crowded and intimate. Our ships provide extravagant freedom for you to explore and to relax, live life to the fullest. And that's what we call the luxury of personal space. Our Mariner and Voyager both have decks you can access along the sides of the ship, where you can be as connected to other travelers as you like or as disconnected. There's always a pool lounger available and some on the second deck. You don't need to be near others if you choose privacy, yet there are ample opportunities to meet and mingle with other guests. Now, Splendor and Explorer offer this indoor and outdoor seating at Coffee Connection where you can enjoy those free specialty coffees as well as delicious pastries, gourmet sandwiches, homemade cookies. I see myself sitting here in the morning enjoying my specialty coffee. And if you prefer to sit inside, you have that option too. This is the large seating area outside of Coffee Connection inside on Seven Seas Mariner. Now, our world's most luxurious suite offers a true sanctuary at sea with spacious, luxurious suites and personal balconies we are 98% private balcony with only one of our ships offering window staterooms, and that is our Seven Seas Navigator. We are all suites, all outside. And I think that this is a true example of a home away from home. It's not even our largest suite, but it's got a living room, walk-in closet, mini bar that's personalized, dining table. There's free movies on demand, everything that you need to have a comfortable stay with us. No inside suites. And larger suites feature some with two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and then it's just an easy way to travel with friends or family and to not feel overcrowded. Now, this would be a penthouse suite on our Seven Seas Mariner, and another ex excellent example of space and comfort. There's a full wraparound sofa back here in the corner, and the suite is 376 square feet with a balcony of 73 square feet. And then our penthouse suites, this would be on Seven Seas Explorer and Seven Seas Splendor have been reimagined and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. You can actually close off the bedroom door here for more privacy. The suite size is 450 square feet with a balcony that ranges between 194 to 111 square feet, depending on location. And then a lower, more of a lead-in suite, this is a deluxe suite that's G1 or G2 on Seven Seas Splendor. The minimum cabin size of 253 square feet, including a balcony size, between 108 to 55 square feet. So our cabins are spacious in, in, from top to bottom. We've got an elite slumber bed collection on board that is so comfortable that you will probably want to come home and order this bed for your home. We also have some of the largest balconies at sea, especially on 17th Splendor and Explore. You could actually probably have a party of 12 on some of those balconies. Now, personalized and professional service is something else that we are known for. And every crew member on board is there to give you that unrivaled and personalized experience. They remember your name and the way you like your drinks or your food cooked, make sure every detail is taken care of, and they actually become family. We spoke about our suites having plenty of space and so much space that you can comfortably dine in your cabin, and it's included. At dinner, it can be course by course using our main dining room menu. And this isn't new for us, but maybe you just didn't know it was an option. So this is luxury, it's personal preference, it's whatever way you want it. We have highly trained butlers and penthouse suites and above, more personalized service. They're dedicated to the guests in his suite. They'll help with any arrangements needed while on board, as well as every staff member there on board will help you with anything that you need. The room stewards are dedicated to their suites only, so not endless people are entering your suites. They don't change throughout your voyage. They greet you upon arrival and they learn your preferences. 
And we offer up to seven dining venues on board, depending on which ship you're sailing. All of our dining venues have ample seating space in these gorgeous dining venues with plenty of tables for two. In fact, you're able to dine outside three times a day should you choose. There is no additional cost for specialty dining or packages that you have to purchase to have it included. It is just, it is all included. The beginning with our main specialty restaurant called Compass Rose. We are open seating dining, which means no required dining at set times at large tables with people that you don't know. We offer over 200 gourmet plant-based selections for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then Compass Rose is known as many people's favorite specialty restaurant at sea because each night there are different menu selections from the specialty venues. So you would be able to eat in Compass Rose each night of the cruise and enjoy something different and try all the specialty venues selections as well. Outdoor dining is available at La Veranda all day long on this beautiful shaded open air deck, or you can sit inside the dining room if you choose. Breakfast and lunch are a contactless buffet. And then in the evening, it turns into this delicious Italian eatery called Sette Mari, which is serving authentic Italian specialties and fine wines. And now with the expansion of the pool grill for dinner, you can enjoy a delicious casual menu. And there are more than enough options for dining that allow for social distancing and taking in that beautiful ocean air. And as far as dress code, when people think of luxury, they think that there are formal nights and you have to wear tuxedos and ties and, and suits. And with us, that is just not the case. Our dress code is, say, elegant casual, business casual, country club casual. Just a collared shirt for men with slacks, for women, a blouse, dress, that is it. But with a casual dining option at the pool grill for dinner, you can wear your shorts and your t-shirts that you wore touring all day. Now, our specialty dining restaurants are all works of art just in their space. This is Pacific Rim. It's got lovely tables for two. It's a Pan-Asian specialty dining venue. You'll experience amazing culinary traditions of Asia here. Our elegant steakhouse called Prime 7, which would be my favorite, it just exudes glamour and is elevates this classic American fare to new heights. So maybe you would enjoy an 18 ounce ribeye or king crab legs, maybe a whole main lobster. Why not try all three? Because you can, and it's included. We have chartreuse featuring a classic French fare with a twist serving you maybe a French onion soup that is upside down in the bowl or tra more traditionally a roasted rack of lamb served with the most delicious French wines. Now immersive exploration, another one of our pillars. We offer so many ways for you to immerse yourself into these destinations and this is an entire list, some included, some not, but I'm going to go over a few of these in detail for you. Now we offer these destination experiences in more private settings with options for small groups or private tours to allow you to have a unique vacation experience in a safe environment. So from music history and the culinary arts to wildlife, unique local adventures and beyond, there are amazing memories to be created in every destination, whatever your interest with Regent Seven Seas Cruises. We offer over 2,000 free unlimited shore excursions, including access to over 350 plus UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And that's just the start of this incredible array of shoreside opportunities, multiple tours and every port of call that are included, not just bus tours, city tours or walking tours, in concierge suites and above our tours open at 365 days prior to sailing and below concierge open at 300 days prior to sailing. We're also going to be well prepared with our smart guide app. So this allows you to connect with a tour guide who is speaking using your own smartphone and headphones. So you can stay socially distanced. You don't have to be right up front and worry about what you'll miss hearing because you're not right there. It's going, we're working on offering it on all of the tours and it's just, you know, one of those added things that will make people feel more comfortable moving forward. 
I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea when I say that we include shore excursions in the Mediterranean, for example, we visit 118 ports of call. Well, there's 2,146 free shore excursions that we offer out of those ports of call in the Mediterranean. And in Alaska, for example, 13 ports of call and 244 free shore excursions. In South America, 40 ports of call, 364 free shore excursions. So it's quite a bit. Now, a Regent Choice Shore Excursion. These are amazing experiences, such as this one here at Catherine's Palace. It's amazing. It is just open for our guests, none of the crowd. And a Regent Choice Tour is an upgraded tour at a cost and could also be something like a helicopter tour over a glacier in Alaska or a tour in Malaga where you'll gain an understanding of the cultural significance of bullfighting. There are so many different options and opportunities. We also offer additional tours to enrich your time in these destinations, such as these small group tours. Now, Regent Choice small group tours, they are a maximum of 16 guests for a more in-depth and personalized destination experience. And then go local tours. So select ports of call offer these go local tours. And for those of you who have, you've done it all, you've, you've been everywhere or to Rome, for example, you, you've been there and visited everything. Well, with the Go Local Tours, you're able to go into the city with a local, spend a day with them, see the city through their eyes, and really dive into their culture and do things that you never would have done before. They're very, very popular for our or from our past guests. And then we've got Gourmet Explorer Tours. These are chef-led tours that we offer on the Splendor and the Explorer. These two ships have a culinary arts kitchen. So with these chef-led tours, you can add on to a culinary arts kitchen class. You go into the city with the chef, pick up your ingredients for your culinary arts kitchen class, take it back to the ship, cook it together, pair it with the most beautiful wines. It's just an amazing experience. Now, you can also build a unique shoreside experience with our concierge or on board, or we can do it ahead of time. Before you leave, a private car and driver, you can tell them exactly where you want to go, what you want to see. There's full day and half day tours, and it can be you and your traveling partner, and that is it. So it's a unique opportunity that maybe more guests will feel comfortable with as you begin cruising again. Now, something also so wonderful that we have started is a program called reconnect on regent so this is for groups of 10 or more people and we offer you free private shore excursions with your group only so you have access to our collection of all of these tours that are included and you can do them exclusively with your party we'll give you a free 200 dollars shipboard credit so you can enhance your cruise experience and upgrade your tours or use it at the spa, the boutique. And then we'll waive your custom air fee where maybe you'll you know, want everybody to come in together and, and request and all of that. So you've got flexibility in, in your booking your airfare. You'll get personal in-suite notifications regarding your party's departure time. So you don't have to go into the theater and wait with everyone else. We'll let you know in your suite. And we offer a private complimentary celebration so with your favorite cocktails and exquisite hors d'oeuvres just for your party. So remember that is for people of parties of 10 or more. Now <clears throat> into some itineraries, let me take a drink quick. We cover the globe with more than 450 ports worldwide. Our sailings are from seven nights up to 143. Our 2023 world cruise opened in October of 2020 and it almost sold out in one day. We opened our new season launch for 2022 into 2023 voyages that same month, and it exceeded our best booking day in, the, in our company's history by 40%. Then our 2024 world cruise opened late this year, and it sold out the full world cruise, 132 nights in two and a half hours. 
And lastly, we once again broke our record for the fourth time, our largest ever booking day record to date with the launch of our 2023 into 2024 Voyage Collection. And we broke that record by 15% from the previous launch and we had 10 less voyages. Just wow. It tells us that you're out there and you're ready to go. Now we've got space in 2022. Many voyages are sold out. Those ones that are there are limited, we don't do all of the time. I wanted to highlight some itineraries for you. Um, but I went into 2023 and there's even a couple in 2024 because our guests book far out in advance. And especially for those unique itineraries, you want to book those that far out in advance. Otherwise you won't get what you want. Now we have, so I mentioned world cruises. If you can't do a world cruise, a grand voyage is another option. So grand voyages, there, there's Circle South America, Grand Asia Pacific, there's a Grand European Sojourn, and a Grand Right Grand Vice Route Quest. Now, these are longer cruises, but you can break these up into segments as well. If you don't want to take the full Grand Voyage, that is completely fine. Now, I wanted to highlight here what the ships are doing and then a couple itineraries. So, Splendor, still our, a brand new ship. She'll be in Northern Europe, including Baltic sailings. And then she'll be doing the 62 night Grand European Sojourn. She'll also be in doing the Grand Circle South America in 23. And then the winter will be Eastern and Western Caribbean and voyages with two Panama Canal transits going to Panama City, a new port in Brazil. So this is the Grand European Sojourn. You're, I mean, so many things you can check off of your bucket list here on the 62 night cruise from Stockholm to Athens. I know the map is probably hard to see, but if you're interested, look at this itinerary. It's, it's get it all out of the way at one time. Now, also Seven Seas Splendor, this voyage, she will be visiting our new port of call, Syros, Greece. Syros was the Greek capital for many years and has been inhibited by Romans and Arabs, Franks and Venetians, and all of the arts flourish in Syros, and it's thriving with European dance, film, and art. It's a great new port to visit, and our guests, you're there to learn about art, culture, history, music food and wine, you're not going on a cruise to, you know, lay on the beach and and put your toes in the sand. That is not what you are all about. And we are also, we are constantly adding new ports of call to give those new destinations and places that you can check off of your bucket list. So this is a 16 night voyage. This goes through the Panama Canal with an overnight in Panama City. I thought that was great. And you can see these centuries of intact ruins and visit the UNESCO Cultural World Heritage Site in the, the historic district of Casco Vigo. A great itinerary. This is in December of 23. And then we have our full Grand Circle South America. So, you know, you can just do it all at once. It's an incredible 67 night round trip, Miami. And what no, what there's no better way to visit South America. And this is the first time that this ship will be doing this destination. Now, this itinerary, uh, Buenos Aires to Rio, this is Splendor. We've got a new port of call in Brazil. And not to mention, on the screen, you should see this is up to 29 free shore excursions on this voyage alone. So many options for you. Now, our Seven Seas Explorer will be in Alaska for the first time. And our small ships are amazing in Alaska. They can get closer to those glaciers. We don't have any sea days except the inside passage, but uh, what great experiences. So it's fishing, crab tasting, hiking, biking, an amazing way to connect with nature and you know, see bears catching salmon and the river of Ketchikan, Ketchikan all of that. So Alaska is a great, great, great with Regent. Now, from Alaska, she'll cross to Asia and do a series of Tokyo round trips, and those are very popular as well. And then it cruises through Southeast Asia and route to Australia. So after two Sydney to Auckland voyages, she begins with a, a grand Asia Pacific voyage. And a true highlight of the Explorer is she will have 
five Tokyo round trip voyages, and these always sell out. So now we've got five. Now this is the Grand Asia Pacific journey, 166 free shore excursions, a 59 night expedition on board the Explorer in Asia is something that you don't want to miss. And if you missed out on the 2024 World Cruise, this could be something you might want to look at. And again, these grand voyages, you can break them up into segments as well. Now, round trip Tokyo voyages, as I said, they always sell out fast and we've got some options in 2024. This is a couple of them. Um, I wanna mention that these voyages offer a three night land program pre or post that is included. If you're going to these destinations, you want to see and do these things and it's included and it makes it so much easier for you to do it all with us. There's no hassle. Now our Seven Seas Navigator begins with voyages uh, to Amazon and the Caribbean, then she repositions to New York City for two Canada and New England voyages. She departs on our 78 night Grand Arctic Adventure. It's New York to Barcelona, followed by a series of med voyages. She sails to Dubai and then to Asia en route to Australia and New Zealand. Uh, finally, we are returning to the South Pacific with four voyages sailing through the islands of French Polynesia in 2024 with overnights in Bora Bora and Papiete. Now, Grand Arctic Adventure, the 78 night journey is in June of 2023. It's leaving from New York. So, you know, you have less international flying there. Also, it, it's just got amazing ports. We will, let's see, Iceland, Greenland, Reykjavik, British Isles, Edinburgh, Denmark, Norway, Stockholm, St. Petersburg, Hamburg, Amsterdam, Dunkirk, which is a very small city in France. It's Wow, it's a great itinerary. Now, another popular voyage is this Abu Dhabi to Athens. There's two nights in Egypt, so you'll have plenty of time to visit the pyramids. There's a free pre-cruise or post-cruise package, pre-cruise Dubai Discovery or post-cruise Sacred Treasures of Greece. And you've got an overnight in Luxor. It's just, again, with us, an Ephesus. You've got to go to Ephesus and you've got to, to visit. So many things that you can, can just check off of your bucket list. Now, with the South Pacific, we've got these itineraries. Usually the, the World Cruise would do it before, but now we've got these individual itineraries to offer you. It's just a, a tropical paradise. And I've been to French Polynesia. It was actually my first cruise with Regent many, many years ago. And... I, it is a absolute must see. We have, again, I mentioned overnights in Bora Bora and Papiete. These are in 2024, but they will sell out. So if you are looking at going to French Polynesia, you definitely want to look at holding those early on. Now, our Seven Seas Voyager, primarily sailing the Mediterranean with multiple three night stays in Jerusalem. We will be in Northern Europe with voyages including Iceland, Greenland, a cruise through Iceland and Norway, plus the circumnavigation of the British Isles. Before returning to the Med, she'll sail to the west coast of Africa and route to Cape Town, where then she'll sail two Cape Town round trip voyages, and then into 2024, sailing a series of South America voyages, which traverse the Southern Cone, and then including scenic cruising to Antarctica, Unfortunately, it's scenic cruising. I want to specifically say we do not, your feet do not touch the ground in Antarctica. So no, no getting off of the ship. Now we include three night land programs as well with these Cape Town voyages, opportunities to upgrade even those land programs for that more in-depth personalized experience. You've got to do this. You, you've got to do a, a wildlife tour and, and all of that while you're there, right? Why not have it just included? Another Cape Town coast to coast crossings and a Cape to coast crossing. So these transoceanic crossing voyages as well. Now our Mariner starts in the Med 
does Eastern, Western, and the Greek Isles, as well as voyages to the Black Sea. She'll reposition to Canada, New England, where she'll debut as a resident ship in the Canada, New England region in the fall. And then she'll head to the Caribbean before heading south for a voyage through the Amazon. So I wanted to highlight this Amazon cruise. It's it's over Christmas, but you go up and down the Amazon River and not many places offer you itineraries such as this. And there's days at sea, of course, but what a what an amazing opportunity to see and go up and down the Amazon. Now, this is our an itinerary on our new ship, Seven Seas Grandeur. It's Athens to Istanbul. I thought it was wonderful because it's got a day in Ashdod, but then an overnight in Haifa. And then, of course, you go to Turkey and Greece, Istanbul. Again, opportunities to visit Ephesus. There are so many itineraries, and it is so hard to choose what is out there. But I did want to share our 2024 world cruise. This did sell out in two and a half hours. And I just checked today and it's still sold out. It's two years away, however. So if you're interested, there is an opportunity. You can add yourself as a wait list. So there's so many destinations and itineraries that we offer. I don't have enough time to share all of them with you. But just remember that our ships are small and Small means that we can get into ports that those large ships cannot access. So you'll be able to do and see places that you wouldn't on those larger ships. Now we're coming to an end of our presentation and I wanted to share with you our current offers as, as before we end. And I do have a quick video for you that I would love for you to watch as well. So maybe you're a solo traveler. Now we have dates into 2023 with special single supplement fares. You don't have to wait until closer to the cruise to receive a special savings being a single. I was told by a solo traveler themselves that Regents program was the best solo traveler program out there. I don't know who she sailed with, but I can say she said Regents was the best. So there's opportunities to spend time with the other solo travelers. There's parties. There's there's lots of opportunities for you as a solo traveler. So you have the freedom to dine on your own or with other singles as well. It's all up to you. So ask your travel advisor, uh, see if they can help and they'll help you with what dates we offer solo traveler benefits. Now, I a lot of people don't think about Regent as far as kids, but in Alaska and in the Mediterranean in the summertime, we do offer a children's program where the shore excursions are included in the cost of the cruise. And many of these, they could sail for $9.99 or $12.99, depends on the voyage. And they would sail as a third or, or more passenger. But, you know, a lot of people are looking at that multi-generational travel. Maybe you have a big anniversary coming up, a big birthday coming up, and you want to take your whole family. But you don't want to go on those big, 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 sh big ships. You can sail with Regent in Alaska and the Med. We've got a children's program with certified counselors and it's really, really great. So think about Regent too, if you're looking at booking anything like that. Now, right now we do have our gift of travel promotion going on. It's a 10% savings on select 2022 voyages to the Mediterranean, Northern Europe, Africa, the Caribbean, Alaska, and more. There are 30 voyages available with this offer. So it is running from December 1st to December 31st. So ask your Market Square Travel Advisor for the list of voyages with this offer because it's not on everything. It is only on select. And then exclusively, if you book with Market Square Travel between tomorrow and the 17th or two weeks from following the event so yep december 3rd through december 17th you can save up to two thousand dollars per suite depending on the length of your voyage and the suite category that you book so this is also combinable with the gift of travel promotion so if you pick one of those dates with a 10 percent savings then we can also give you an additional savings with the with the offer through market square travel so 
I want to show you now a video we did return to service back in September with our brand new Seven Seas Splendor. We have another ship explorer that's currently in the water as well. And then we're bringing back the rest of them slowly. So another in December and then January, February. So I wanted to show you this video of us back on board and let you know that we're waiting for you. So I'm going to shut off my video and I'll be right back. We have been waiting. To create your ideal escape. And your home away from home. To take care of every detail. To create our next culinary masterpiece. To pour your favorite cocktail. To share something sweet. And brighten each afternoon with the perfect pick-me-up. entertain you and to make you laugh to rejuvenate your body and enrich your mind to sail you safely to exotic destinations we have been waiting to welcome you on board and return you home with unforgettable memories from an unrivaled experience. We are waiting for you. So I want to thank you all for listening to my presentation all about Regent Seven Seas Cruises, and we look forward to welcoming you on board very soon. Well, thank you very much, Jody. That was a wonderful presentation. I'm sure everybody's going to want to go on a Regent cruise sometime I can't soon. wait. I, I know. Oh, my gosh. I know. So thank you, everyone.